we need your support. Click the like buttons below. Now onto the video. Welcome to readtheticket.com. Today we're going to do an update on Bitcoin. Bit stamp USD is the symbol. Uh, we're going to look at it through the eyes of Wyckoff Logic. A quick update. Now, looking using Wyckoff Logic is a bit like, a bit like uh, judging a boxing match. You're trying to find or judge the the damage done to the uh, the te technical side of the chart through price action, just like a punch to to the opponent. Is it going to hurt? Not going to hurt? Does it make contact? Does it do damage? Right at the moment, let's look at the previous correction. We have couple of down bars here and you can see the high volume on the down bars and you see it breaks into new ground until it runs out of steam and you should also note that the um, the high volume down bars weren't did not lose to the blue high volume up bars until this point of time see that the red bars actually failed here see the low volume on the red bars so the heavy punching you might say to the trend came in, started to come in there and dragged price down because um, obviously there's lots of selling going on and the market realized there's some big sellers in the market and there was no demand in this little period here after that big selling so they pumped it up and then they sold into it again and sold into it again so there's some real liquidate, liquidation going on here and at the point of time when the liquidation ceased the, the trend continued on because the buying came back um, to normal levels and the selling subsided. So here from up here you can see here all the blue bars are greater than the red bars. And the reason why we can do this quite easy, talking about greater volume on the blue and the red, is because there is no stock options, there is no futures contracts, the volume is pure. This volume here is pure buying Bitcoin and selling Bitcoin. So it's just 10 sold, 5 purchased, 5 sold, 6 purchased, you know, it's exactly like that. So it's very real the price volume action. So what I want to make the point here is that the correction was not over until time and price and the volume down bars started losing to the volume up bars. So let's move over to the current correction. Obviously the massive selling coming in here. Came in. There's some big sells selling coming in there. And another sell, big sell about there. Well, what, what I want to highlight to you is... Um, these bars here. Now this bar here happened to be a buying climax because the high volume, high volume there, and look at that, look the volume just dropped off. So the big buying came in there, and the demand dropped off, and some more selling came in there. So what's happening, happening now? The line in the sand is quite obviously around two four hundred. The reason why it is a line of sand because the big volume um, came in just above the F fifty simple moving average. Look at that big volume there. That's that's the the demand line there. Okay, and some more volume came in on the 50 SMA here, and a little bit there. But what's most important is you can see that the red bars on the volume and the selling a is falling off. Now, I, so long as we and you can see these little three bars here, it didn't really compete. So what's actually happened here? The, the demand side saying, well, the supply has come to the market, and the supply is drying up. So that basically means is that those who are buying this and those who wish to get this thing higher would should be free to do so because the supply is not going to be hinder its progress. Now so long as next week doesn't show any more big selling coming into the market and demand comes in, you should see it creep up, I think believe to at least three thousand and beyond. Now that is a caveat, so long as the big selling does not turn up again because we believe in summary that the selling has subsided. So someone targeted two five Someone out there had accumulated a long time ago and said, right, I'm going to liquidate a whole bunch of stuff at 2.5. And that liquidation at 2.5 is pretty much ended. Now, we, we judge our liquidation by correction in price and in time. So here, the correction in price was much more vicious in time because it fell from, I don't know, let's say uh, 1,300 all the way down to 1,000. That was 30%. So the, the, the liquidation in prices are not being so severe because the time has soaked up the selling. So that is very bullish. So I would um, be positive. As long as we don't get many uh, more red bars, big red bars come in, we're going to go higher on a controlled manner. We really want to see action like this, where it's controlled, narrow, moderate, steep climb, and it'll slowly give way to acceleration. We don't. 
So let's see what happens. So that's the update. Thanks for watching.